This is the 2024 Hilux GR Sport. And unlike the previous GR Sport, this is not just a regular Hilux with a body kit and a couple of stickers. It's a legitimate competitor to the Ranger Raptor. Is it worth our money? Let's find out. The new Hilux GRS looks drastically different from the previous model. It is a lot wider and a lot taller. These are the dimensions of the Hilux GRS. Compared to the Conquest, it is 165 millimeters wider, 65 millimeters taller, but it's actually 15 millimeters shorter, probably because of the shorter overhangs. While the GR Sport is noticeably wider and taller than the Conquest, it is still significantly smaller than the Ranger Raptor. The Raptor is bigger in every dimension. The GR Sport is 61mm shorter, 8mm narrower, and 42mm shorter than the Ranger Raptor. Uh, the most significant difference are these fender flares right here, which extend a couple of inches from the body, and they give the pickup a really muscular look. The bumper has also been changed to give the pickup a better approach angle. And you also get some underbody protection over here. Like you get this skid plate down there. Doesn't sound as thick as the skid plate of the Raptor, but it's there nonetheless. So you have these air inlets over here, which feed air into the wheel wells. The new Hilux GRS comes with 17 inch wheels finished in gloss black. And these tires right here are 265, 65 R17s, which are significantly smaller and narrower than the tires of the Ranger. But they're also less aggressive. These are Yokohama Geolander G94s. The tread depth is relatively shallow, and you don't get tread on the sidewalls. Definitely not as aggressive looking as the knobby all-terrain tires of the Ranger Raptor. They almost look like highway terrain tires. Now, I was expecting the tires to be a bit bigger, but these are about the same size as the tires of the Conquest and smaller than the tires of the regular Ranger Wildtrak. Now over there, the suspension has also been modified. The suspension arms are now longer, which gives the vehicle a wider track and better suspension travel. If the Ranger Sport comes with Fox shocks, the GR Sport comes with KYBs on all four corners. And of course, you get disc brakes on all four corners. At the back, the sway bar has been deleted, which should help improve articulation off-road, but might worsen body roll. Emphasis on might, we'll find out when we get to drive it. Now, unlike the Ranger Raptor, which gets coil springs, the GR Sport still gets leaf springs, and it doesn't get the watts linkage that you get on the Ranger Raptor. Now, I can't find any info on the ground clearance of the GR Sport, but visually, it looks like it's been lifted by a more than noticeable amount. The side steps are made of plastic. Now we don't get the rock sliders of the Australian spec GR Sport. Instead, we get these plastic side steps. For comparison, the Ranger Raptor comes with aluminum side steps, which also double as rock sliders. Yeah, here at the back, you also get the same over fenders, which are very wide. Um, you get the sport bar over here. Now the other panels are basically the same as the regular Hilux, the fenders, the doors, the hood. Uh, it, it gets the same LED headlamps. The grill has been changed. You get Toyota lettering here at the center and a GR badge over here. Your radar unit is over here. This gets full ADAS and it also gets a 360 camera system. You get power folding side mirrors. You get a smart locking system so you can lock or unlock the vehicle without having to get the key out of your pocket. You don't get roof rails unlike the Wildtrak, but the Ranger Raptor also doesn't get roof rails. Here at the back, the Hilux badge is blacked out. You get a GR badge over here. You get the same LED tail lamps as the regular Hilux. The same uh, rear bumper with rear parking sensors. And this also gets an assisted lift gate. And you also get a bed liner standard. You don't get power outlets here like on the Ranger Raptor.
Okay, so under the hood is the same 2.8 liter 1GD FTV engine as the regular Hilux Conquest, but it's been tuned to produce more power. So this puts out 224 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. That's 14 more horsepower and 50 more newton meters of torque compared to the Ranger Raptor. Now, whether that translates to a better drive, we'll find out later if we get to test drive this. It's still coupled to the same six speed automatic transmission. And thankfully, we now get hood struts. Okay, so we're now inside the Toyota Hilux GR Sport, and it looks pretty much the same as the regular Hilux Conquest. One thing that's different is the infotainment screen. It's a more modern looking screen. It looks more flush against the dashboard. This gets Apple CarPlay, it gets Android Auto. You also get a 360 camera, although the resolution is not the best in its segment. Um, it does get active guidelines though. You also get... Please say a command after beat tone. You also get voice commands now. Um, turn the volume down. Exit voice assist immediately. Okay. <laughs> to get paddle shifters here, you get this leather wrapped steering wheel with this red accent at the top. You also got a GR badge over here. So this um, trim right here is exclusive to the, to the Hilux GRS. Um, it has this aluminum-like finish. Um, the entire dashboard is made of hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic. You get soft touch materials though where it counts, like the armrests are covered in leather. Like I said, the steering wheel, this armrest over here. The seats are covered in a mix of leather and fabric. You also have GR badging over here. The driver's seat is power adjustable, but it doesn't get adjustable lumbar support. The passenger seat is manually adjustable. You get an analog instrument cluster. You have your tachometer and temperature gauge to the left, and your speedometer and your fuel gauge to the right. And you also have a multifunction screen at the center. You get a wireless phone charger. You get a locking rear differential. You get dual zone climate control, and you get physical. You get plenty of physical knobs and buttons here. We have two 12 volt outlets here and your USB ports are so this is my first time seeing the car so pardon me if I don't know exactly the where, where stuff are the US, oh the USB port is over here okay typical Toyota you have one USB A port over here and one USB C port you get a manual handbrake Unlike the Ranger Raptor, which gets uh, an electronic parking brake. Now, I don't really mind this, especially for a pickup. Now, in terms of storage, like the Hilux Conquest, you get dual glove boxes over here. Uh, the lower glove box is dampened, unlike the Ranger Raptor. The center cubby is pretty big, although it's not as big as the Ranger Raptors. You get a lot of cup holders here. You get two over here, and you get one next to each air vent. The perfect place to put your drinks if you want them to stay cold. Okay, so here at the back seat, um, space is pretty decent. It's not gonna be as spacious as it's not gonna be as spacious as the Ranger Raptor because this is a smaller V. It's not gonna be as spacious as the Ranger Raptor because this is a smaller vehicle. Uh, legroom is okay. Headroom, I have about uh, an inch and a half you have grab handles where it counts you have two air vents over here you don't seem to have any 12 volt outlets unlike the Ranger Raptor which gets two USB ports over here and an AC power outlet you do get a center armrest with two cup holders the Hilux GR Sport sells for 2,166,000 pesos it undercuts the Ranger Raptor by 173,000 pesos. The advantage of the GR Sport is that it has a bit more power. The Ranger Raptor though rides on a much newer platform. It has a bit more tech. It has a more premium and more spacious interior. And it has much better tires for off-roading, among others. The Hilux GR Sport 
might be the swan song of the 8th Gen Hilux before a new model gets released. And hopefully that happens in the near future. It does show its age in a lot of aspects, but the fact that Toyota was able to add so many things without a corresponding increase in price is very impressive. In the near future, we'll talk about our driving impressions of the GR Sport, and we'll also try to do a head-to-head. -head. In the meantime, subscribe to be updated.